The investigation is expanding after a human jawbone was found at Cherry Creek Reservoir. Investigators are calling the discovery suspicious. Sky 9 was over the scene this afternoon as investigators searched the water. The Arapahoe County Sheriff's Department has ordered DNA testing on the bone fragment. Nine News reporter Kevin Torres has been told the jawbone does belong to a human adult. Seems a little shallow. Of all the days to be on the beach. I wish it wasn't so cold so we could actually go swimming. <laughs> this day seemed like the best for anyone looking to catch something. It's cloudy. Other than a cold. I'd like to get a hold of a pike or possibly a largemouth bass. As far as John Burnett was concerned, if he could catch one fish, he'd be a happy man. Take it. Take it. But the only thing he caught was a view he didn't quite expect to see. You know, when you see crime tape and news vans out. <laughs> Anytime the crime tape goes up, it becomes interesting. Interesting, says forensic pathologist Dr. Kelly Lair Cowell, because no one really knows what to think. We don't even have the full jawbone, we only have part of the jawbone. It's puzzling. Kind of makes you wonder how long it's actually been there. It's not recent in the sense that it's been here for a month or two. It's something that's been here for a while. Dr. Kelly says it could be a year old or even seven years old. She just doesn't know yet. It's kind of surprising to hear that they're finding body parts buried in the sand around here, you know. And that's why investigators spent the better part of their day poking around, searching for any new clues. They, along with everyone else, even think someone could have just thrown the jaw out here. So possibly that could have been what happened. Honestly. Yeah. It's a mystery at the reservoir. <laughs> inspiring everyone and everything to look everywhere. It's more something you'd expect to hear down around like Rampart Range or Deckers. Investigators will be back out at the park in the next few days, just not tomorrow. This is the sort of investigation that could take four to six months to complete uh, and to determine who that uh, jawbone belongs to just because of the small size of it. Adele, it's unclear whether or not there are any more bones in the reservoir. All right, Kevin Torres reporting from Cherry Creek. Thanks a lot, Kevin.